Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big day on Tuesday today because we have the first Road to the Final cards that have games today as a part of Champions League. We have Road to the Final upgrades on the line today for three of the Road to the Final cards. We'll talk about that, how those cards might move on the market today, how there might be some trading scenarios, and what to maybe do if you have any of those cards right now um, in your club. And also we have to talk about Icon Swaps number two, dropping yesterday just as we expected, the same rewards that we expected um, with nine swap tokens available. So people are starting on that grind. And that was the big story of yesterday, right? As you would expect, everybody is out grinding the Icon Swaps, the Icon, uh, you know, the friendly Icon Swaps games, and also the Squad Battles games. I've already gotten myself two tokens, opened the 81 times 25, packed Alexis Sanchez, wrote to the final, and some fodder. Not bad, right? A lot, I know a lot of you guys are on the same trend. You're doing friendlies, you're doing gold and goal, you're doing some of these icon swap games to get these tokens in your club and starting that progression of whatever you are going to be going after. So we'll talk about that today. And I really want to focus on the Tuesday content today and why the market was really stagnant yesterday too. But we did also have some SBC fodder movements and that could set up potentially more of them later on this week, depending on what content EA does drop with the mid icon player pick yesterday and the 80 plus player pick returning really good value upgrade pack there. So if you're enjoying icon swap, if you're hype for all the packs that you can get, and of course, excited for road to the final, make sure to hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new, but let's talk about Tuesday content. You can't talk about today on Tuesday without mentioning these big games, champions league games, two of them today, just two Chelsea and Lille and also Villarreal and Juventus. It's going to be a crazy day for three road to the final cards, right? Kai Havertz, Renato Sanchez, and Cuadrado. Those are the three cards that are in action today. Now, all three of these cards have had price movements, right? Kai Havertz is up 300K on the Xbox and 277 on the PlayStation. Of course, a lot of these cards rose yesterday after the Week in the Rewards time frame. We kind of thought that was going to happen. We talked about it in last night's video. A lot of people have invested, right? Chelsea and Juventus today are both the favorites, right? Not that they're huge favorites. I feel like Quadrado and Juventus may be a slight bit more favorited um, in their game than Chelsea is. Uh, but regardless, those are the two favorites for today. So that's why you've seen Quadrado go up in price. I bought some Quadrados at around 180,000 coins that are on my transfer list right now. I'm going to be selling into the hype for the game today. Now, these cards are going to be crazy to trade with depending on what happens in these games today, right? Now, now, the one thing that's what I wanted to clearly mention here at the start of this video is, of course, Havertz and Quadrado uh, are favored to win. Now, a guy like Renato Sanchez, he didn't really move a lot yesterday, and he might even drop a little bit heading into today's game because they are the underdog, right? And yes, Renato Sanchez is such, such a hype card in this game. So many people want to get this card. And yes, we would love it if it upgraded, right? But you just, again, have to know and realize that they are underdogs. And that's why this Renato Sanchez is not moving around as much on the market as a Kai Havertz or a Quadrado is because the potential upgrade here, the chance of that is smaller and people know that. So that's why this card has dropped off from the weekend from where it was and hasn't rebounded back. So keep a close eye on this game, right? Again, what would we expect? If Chelsea score first, this card's probably gonna drop down, right? This is only the first leg of the games between these two clubs, but if Chelsea score first, you're probably going to see this Renato Sanchez drop off a little bit, but also what you're going to see is a lot of people that will want to buy this because they're expecting the drop off happening after the game. So that's one thing to keep an eye on is that there's going to be a decent amount of demand on specifically this card since there's so much hype for this item. People are hoping that it drops off 100, 200,000 coins. If that does happen, be prepared for a bit of a bounce back because it's a rare card, so much hype. And I honestly think he might not even drop that much since a first round loss is potentially already priced in. Now, if the other side of the coin happens, let's say Leo score first, this Renato Sanchez uh, or, or Leo, you know, end up winning this game, this Renato is going to go up big time in price because he is not favored to win. And the opposite is going to happen for a Kai Havertz. Or if Villarreal were to beat Juventus today, this Kai Havertz is going to drop big time if they end up losing or even if they get scored on first. Again, as I mentioned, if Leo go 1-0 up, that's what the most, the most fun aspect of trading with these cards is during the game, when the game is going on, they will move like crazy on the market 
based on the potential upgrade, just on who's winning at that certain point in the game. Because as I said, again, there are upgrades on the line for these cards today. So if you bought Havertz at like 250,000 coins or less, and you're making a nice bit of profit right now, whatever console you're on, 300K on Xbox even, right? I would take the cash pre-game. That's the safe route. A lot of people have invested in this. I'm telling you, a lot of people have invested. This card's gone from 210K all the way to 270 on the PlayStation. That's a big rise. That's a big rise for three days. Um, yes, it's going to be a hype card. It might not get upgraded until this Friday, though. And with a lot of other stuff going on, and just with the safest you know, way of doing things in this year's game being to take the quick cash, that's what I would do. I'm going to be selling my Quadrados probably at some time pre-game today. Um, I guess the only thing you could maybe risk it for would be if they do score like the first goal of the game and then they go up. Uh, of course, they're up 1-0. Maybe you see a bit of a spike right after that as people go on the market and say, oh my goodness, I'm going to buy this card because it's going to get upgraded. They're winning. So you might have a slight bit of bounce up there. But then after that, you're probably going to have start people starting to undercut each other as they try to sell their investments. As a lot of people expect these cards to explode after the first goal, which you, again, you might see that a little bit or if they win towards the end of the game. You might see their prices bounce up a little bit, but the safest thing to do, because you never know what's going to happen in these games, right? It's the Champions League. You never know. Selling them into the hype is usually the most safe version of, of doing that, especially if you're already in the profit, right? That's the safe play selling in the hype. So that is kind of the big thing to watch out for today. I'll be live streaming on Twitch, link down below in the description, uh, and we'll trade with some of these cards during the game as that game is going on. It's going to be mad fun to watch because there should be a lot of price fluctuations, especially if there's a decent amount of action. If we get a couple early goals, that's gonna make the cards move a lot. I'm so excited for Road to the Final live trading to be back. So that's kind of the big content for today, other than just what we might see in the game. Uh, of course, I talked about that Gamble SBC. The flashback Griezmann, I guess, is still a potential that is out there. But one other flashback, not a flashback, sorry, one other SBC is leaked. Now we do have this showdown between Eric Bailly and DePaul. Their game is, of course, tomorrow on Wednesday. This SBC expires then. We have another leaked showdown SBC for the League Cup Final that is coming this Sunday. The game is this Sunday. The SBC will be before then. Showdown between Chelsea and Liverpool. Origi and Mason Mount. Mason Mount getting a pretty juice special card here. I don't know if these are confirmed stats or if these are just predictions, um, but that looks like a pretty nice boost to an Origi card. He if you actually look him up in the game, this could be a pretty dope card, especially if you get another plus two upgrade on top of that. If Liverpool were to go on and win this game on Sunday, he would look insane. Same thing with Mason Mount, right? An 88 rated card. If this is the exact card that he'll get, you know, you put a plus two on that. I think even if these stats aren't confirmed, um, by the leaks, I feel like these stats would be semi, you know, predictable, right? Origi is four star, four star. Mount, if he gets that four star skill move upgrade, he'd be a four star, four star card as well. I feel like that'd be necessary for these items. And that's, you know, back to back, all the showdowns that we've had recently, like you think even back to Sule and PK, um, you know, we had the Darmian versus the Muriel. The showdowns this year have been pretty solid, right? Bailly versus DePaul is solid. This one looks like it could be really cool as well. So, Depending on the price, of course, this would be an SBC. I, I imagine that they won't put this out in game until after the Eric Bai and DePaul go away, but that's just something to keep an eye out for. I was really watching Havertz's price yesterday. Um, I was wondering if the mount leak would affect Havertz, but it really hasn't. And that, again, just tells me that there's so much hype on a potential Chelsea win today and an upgrade for this Havertz card uh, that's keeping his price high, and this leak here is not impacting it at all. So another reason maybe to sell your Havertz in the hype today, just in case this uh, Mason Mount comes out and he's like, you know, the same price or cheaper than what this Havertz SBC is, people would like run to go and do this card, I think, because if you look at these stats, you know, 87 pace on Havertz, 90 dribble, 85 pass, 85 shot. I still think you'd look at this Mason Mount card and see the 90 dribble and the 90 passing, and think that it is probably better, especially if he gets that four star, four star upgrade. So that's kind of something to keep in mind if you have that Havertz Road to the final item. That's a leaked SPC coming soon this week. I don't think it'd be today. I doubt they would overlap two showdowns, uh, but I guess if they wanted to give people ample time to complete it, they could. So that's kind of content in the next two days or three days as we see it. But let's talk about yesterday, right? Because all of the hype, of course, right now is on 
Icon Swaps. And we actually have our first Icon Moments card shown to us here. Moments Cannavaro is one of the options here. You know, you can already see the card design. You can see the stats on the card. You can't, I don't think we can see Gerard. We know Gerard's league stats. It's been on Twitter. All the Icon Moments have been like basically leaked. Um, but this Cannavaro card right here, it looks decent. Now, a lot of people right now are just starting to grind for swaps. They're starting to figure out what they want to do. And that, again, made the market pretty stagnant yesterday. But good luck to all you guys that are grinding. I know you guys have different opinions on what do I want to take versus what what is the grind, what's worth it for me. One thing that I found slightly interesting is that they put the most expensive token at the front for icon swaps. Um, and what, in three days, when these future star swaps go away, you know those will be out of the way. But... Uh, they, they put Gedinsha and the Primer Moments Pack at the very front, which I found kind of interesting. And then that's backwards from what they had done before. So maybe I guess EA is trying to get you to grind towards those end, you know, cards and, and end with the tokens that turned in here. But I mean, to, to be completely honest, um, you know, a lot of people are still taking the fodder packs, right? I took the 81 times 25. I'm taking the packs, probably not going to even grind for the total 18 swap tokens in general and get the prime icon pack with it. I'm probably just gonna get my fodder packs and get out. That's the way that I like to do swaps, just cause it's easy, it's not time consuming. And uh, I at least get myself at some pretty cool cards. Like I packed Alexis Sanchez yesterday for my 82 times 25 pack. So that was nice. But a lot of people doing golden goal, of course. Uh, a lot of people playing squad battles that did impact some of the uh, silvers on the market yesterday. If you saw, or maybe you should even check your clubs right now, but uh, I believe it's like German. German silvers, especially German silvers that are in the Eredivisie, because you can get three swap tokens done at one time. Uh, and these cards were like 10K extinct. I think they're maybe down a little bit now. Actually, they're not. They're still really, really expensive. You see a bid on that one there for 8.7K. So these, um, yeah, look, these German silvers from the Eredivisie are still basically max price 9.5K on the market right now. So make sure if you have any of these, there's a lot of goalkeepers, but check them out because they're selling like hotcakes as everybody's trying to combine objectives in icon swaps to make their life easier and for them to play less games. So um, just something to kind of keep an eye out there for is a lot of people are selling these cards and as they're very inflated in price right now with the Germans being required as a part of those icon swap squad battle games from yesterday but with everybody going out and doing that the only other thing that was left to do on fifa yesterday was 80 plus player picks which to be honest this is a w once again i think that the 80 plus player pick is better than the 81 you're like nate you're crazy i don't know though because yes it is one less rating of, a, of an upgrade of the pack that you're opening or the player pick you're opening but you get three choices instead of two and it does only require you to put in nine players with three rare. Now, this, of course, has made commons, gold commons and gold rares are like almost the same price. So when I've been doing these upgrade packs um, and these player picks, I've literally just been putting in a full team of rares because uh, it's, it's really not worth it, in my opinion, to try to sweat it out and pay, you know, two, two or 300 coins less just to get yourself um, a, a little bit, you know, I guess you could say a slight discount, maybe. If, if at all it's a slight discount, I'm really close on the chemistry here. I got to get this. Um, let's see here. Boom. I'm really, really close here. I got to get this done and dusted. Plus three. Calvert-Lewin plus two. I mean, man, how close am I to getting this chemistry? I'm going to have to add in a player. But anyways, uh, you know, just keep an eye on whether you have to buy rares or non-rares. They're basically the same price. So in my opinion, it's worth it to just go ahead and buy all rares and save yourself some of the headache. And I literally can't do an SBC. This is pain. This is pain is what this is right here. Um, let me put in one more card and see if this works. Mole, that doesn't work. Oh my gosh, man. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, this is embarrassing. Let me finish this off because I just want to do one player pick for the boys. I want to do one player pick for the boys. Give me a goalkeeper. There we go. Crag now in, done and dusted, bang. Okay. Now for all my troubles, EA Sports, you better bless me with a pretty good card. But these are really good and craftable. And with all of the special cards that are in packs right now, um, with the road to the finals, with the man of the matches that are in packs, they're just a fat W. Now, I haven't packed any special cards from them yet, but if you get cards like this, you can't turn them down, right? 84 Felipe, bang. I'm going to keep doing more of those because it's just a great time to be doing upgrade packs right now. And there's a lot of lower value, lower tier SBCs of craft. We talked about that in yesterday's video. But again, SBC fodder is at a, you know, becoming to be at a premium again. 
because of the mid icon they dropped yesterday. Yesterday's video, I was like, man, I don't know if EA Sports is going to drop more hype SBCs and content this week while icon swaps is going on. It could have been like a, you know, slower week with just a few player SBCs. Never mind. EA Sports says, here's the mid icon player pick. So a lot of your higher rated fodder did go up a little bit yesterday on the game because EA required. 287 rated squads once again in the mid icon player pick which if you take a look at footbin you see that this is downvoted like 79 percent but i'm telling you people on this game can't say no to mid icon player picks especially when there is an upgrade sbc that is out and craftable between both of these two sbcs the 80 plus player pick and the 81 to 87 upgrade it's it's staggering bro people can't say no to these sbcs so you've got some of your high rated fodder that's up a couple thousand coins a card Wow, 88s are actually going up a good bit right now. 35K, um, these have actually spiked in the past few hours. They were like 30,000 coins. Wow, they're up a lot right now. That's crazy. So I was not expecting EA to do that, but they went out and they did it. So GG's, I guess. And if you did a club stock or if you bought any fodder, then that was a big W because now you're looking at some profit. So GG's, if you did, in, if you did get in there. Um, again, as I mentioned for SBC content today, maybe we get that uh, party bag type or gamble type SBC that would make that fodder push up even more. But since the whole, you know, preface of what was co dropped content wise on the game yesterday really did not involve the market. A lot of the market is just staying the same price. Literally yesterday was one of the most dead days that I've seen on the market in a while. There really weren't any drops. You know, you could do some position change or chem style trading, of course, on some of these brand new road to the final cards. And yeah, there were a few cards that fluctuated in price uh, yesterday, especially after rewards. Like I bought some Ansu Fatis Sunday night uh, for 400,000 coins and I sold all of those at 440, 450K. That's kind of where he is right now, right? So a lot of cards after rewards yesterday didn't really move across the meta market. And some of these cards, you're like, Nate, they're actually going up. Well, yeah, they're just getting rare, right? I mean, Ferran Torres, look at that, 899. That's rare for his card. Florian Vert's over 500K. Some of these promo cards are just getting rare and that's what's making their prices jump up a little bit. Like, especially late night tonight when these guys are just less of them on the market so their prices can bounce up like that. Um, but I, I really just think that not a lot of people went out and sold cards yet for what's going on this week maybe later on this week of course with a mid icon being out the 80 plus player pick um maybe we will see some more cards dip in value as we get later on towards the end of this week so it's really just going to depend on the content that ea drops so right now the best word to describe how this market feels is it it's really just stagnant so just keep an eye on what type of content ea drop player sbcs and stuff like that if you're trying to make some market movements and trade on the game this week you're going to have to focus around those very hype players the stuff that people are wanting to get their hands on um to trade with some of the stuff on the game because that's where the hype is going to be right you have to trade where that hype is now one thing that i will mention really fast is this kamara uecl there's some TikTok stuff going on with this. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this this price fluctuation yesterday, uh, but he is up big. He's 36,000 coins. I believe there's some TikTok hype going on and just potential upgrades and how this card could look, people being told to invest. So I'd be very be very careful with this card as he's up you know, a lot in the past day or so. And of course, since he's number one on Footbin, I know he's a French CDM, but he's nowhere near as good as in, in my opinion, a Kakare or a Ganduzi. So I'm just a little bit confused as to why this card is, you know, rising so much. But he is a live item. Ooh, Gareth Bale's pretty cheap right now. Never mind. That was an undercut. He's still 285. So again, we're still watching and just gonna have to react, right? This this week of content, it's gonna have to be reactionary because again, the prices aren't gonna move as much on the market for a lot of these meta cards. Um, unless there's a reason for them to move, right? For Renato today, for, you know, the cards that are playing like Havertz and Quadrado, again, there's going to be a reason for them to maybe fluctuate on the market because of these live cards, live items that will upgrade or have the potential to upgrade based off the results of the Champions League games today. But for a lot of the rest of the market, unless there is big SPCs dropped, player SPCs like that Griezmann or something else crazy that we haven't seen leaked yet or talked about yet that would change things today, it's probably going to stay pretty stagnant until we get something that shakes stuff up just because people are all grinding icon swaps right now. Towards the end of this week, yes, you'll have some more market movements, but that's kind of how it's going to be in my opinion it's going to be a little bit more stagnant maybe a slow bit of a drop off as people again are doing mid icon player picks doing you know sbcs crafting 
and focused on that sort of the menu grind right now and not really about buying the meta team. So that's going to kind of have to be where it is as we head throughout this week. And we'll even start to, as we get towards the end of the week, start to think about like what promo is next because these cards are in packs till Friday. Are we going to get a loading screen tomorrow on Wednesday or on Thursday? Or is it going to be a, a dead week of content? We really don't have leaks as of right now, which is refreshing in a way that we don't know exactly what's coming next. But it's just something to keep in mind that that news is also going to spice up things a little bit later on this week. So we're going to keep our eyes on notice and our ears on notice as well as to content related items that could be dropping this game pretty soon. But good luck with your icon swap games. Good luck if you're not if you're in squad battles. I haven't ventured into that yet. But man, oh man, am I not looking forward to that. And good luck, of course, if you're ripping 80 plus player picks. It's going to seem, seem like a slower week this week um, in terms of like market content, probably. So just kind of be prepared for that. Again, as that, again, as I talked about in yesterday's video, all that hype, all that demand is on the gameplay for icon swaps and not as much on the meta cards unless EA drops some big time SBC. So. We'll see what EA do to spice it up this week. But if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, of course, as always, if you're enjoying Icon Swaps too, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. And let me know in the comments down below what you're going for from Icon Swaps. Again, we talked about it a little bit earlier when the swaps were released and leaked, but I'm just going for the fodder packs. Can't be asked to grind too much more than that. But if you're going for it, let me know what you're going for down below in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Vote Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.